Hello, and welcome to the Juniper Network series on SDN and NFV. In this session, we'll be looking at some of the industry's leading enterprise network trends, such as software-defined networks, network functions virtualization, and especially the importance of managed SD-WAN services. I'm Brian Washburn, practice lead for enterprise network transformation and cloud services with market research firm Ovum. With me is Mr. C.K. Lamb. Hi, Brian. It's a pleasure to be here. C.K is Director of SP Cloud Solutions for Juniper Networks. CK, let's start with some of the challenges that enterprises face in their networks today. What sort of things are keeping uh, enterprise network folks up at night? Well, Brian, there are a variety of challenges uh, you know, executives uh, face. Uh, key among those are you know, basically how to get uh, networks to be more agile and to be more responsive to applications and uh, business needs and how to be able to do those uh, you know, with better integrated security than just a bolt-on afterthought. Companies with distributed you know, sites and branch offices face even greater challenges. Um, you know, among those, they have to ensure the reliability of connections, uh, they have to make sure that security is comprehensive and they want to be able to you know, deploy services easily. So the question is, how do you avoid truck rolls every time a branch office needs to be connected needs to be reconfigured, or when a CPE device fails. So having said that, security is still key uh, and top of mind for executives, security and network in particular. So branch offices pose a new challenge, unlike data centers where it's easier to secure. Uh, for branch offices, it tends to be more challenging, and that's the reason why branch offices tends to be the focus of attacks because of the generally weaker postures of those sites. Very interesting that you bring up branch offices, CK, because in Ovum's research, we find that um, similarly, uh, companies with large numbers of branch offices face a lot more complexity in their networks potentially. And in our research, we find that about 50% of enterprises have adopted some measure of hybrid networking today. What that means is that they're looking at operating with more than one set of services and potentially also with multiple service providers, which makes their overall network architecture more complex. But uh, it's interesting that you bring up the point of security um, because that you've mentioned that it's sort of a major challenge. Uh, for SD-WANs, uh, how do you see those sorts of challenges and how can they be overcome? So Brian, with any traditional WAN you know, connections, uh, security has always been a challenge. But today, throw in the idea of having white boxes as CPs, uh, the ability to spin up you know, any services as uh, VNFs, um, the any-to-any -any connectivity, connecting various points, um, you know, all this poses even uh, a greater challenge from a point of uh, security. So the way to overcome this is you know, uh, essentially ensuring that there is robust security at every layer. So for instance, if um, a secure connection is all that is needed, uh, a strong and good firewall could be used as a CPE. Now on the other hand, if um, you know, a need for a universal CPE is required, then there must be a, you know, a strong virtualized firewall uh, uh, be deployed. Uh, in all cases, you know, encrypted communications must be deployed across all links. And uh, finally, you know, the orchestration layer must be able to have a visibility to a high infrastructure to be able to spot irregularities or any anomalies. It's very interesting that you bring up security because in Ovum's research on these leading technologies that enterprises are adopting, we consistently see that enterprises rate security as their number one concern on these new technologies, far and away above any other uh, of the concerns that they might have in adopting uh, these, these new types of capabilities. So I'm intrigued uh, because you mentioned flexibility in terms of CPE choice as a challenge for some SPs. Uh, can you maybe elaborate a little bit on that? Um, why is CPE choice so important? Well, different customers have different needs. So a choice of CPEs that's designed for those needs becomes very important. I think, for instance, uh, you know, if a secure connection is all that is needed, a physical firewall device like Juniper's SRX, for instance, uh, may well do the job. Um, on the other hand, if there's a need for you know, additional services to be dynamically instantiated, then a universal CPE like Juniper's NFX uh, may be the solution. 
Uh, what is important is that at the end of the day, all the different type of CPEs uh, can be orchestrated by the same software with a single pane of glass. I'm glad you bring up uh, NFX, CK, because in Ovum's research, we see that there's uh, lots of discussion about white boxes, but we don't see that telcos are quite there yet. The technology isn't quite ready yet. So for the time being, it seems to us that the best course of action is for telcos to look toward a system that's already uh, fully built out, one that can be potentially expanded in the future to uh, support new types of form factors. So. Uh, the cost associated with network infrastructure can be high, but uh, recently there's been a lot of talk around the kind of pay-as-you-grow model. Um, is this a model that's popular with customers, and what sort of things do they look for in this pay-as-you-grow model? So SD-WAN is still a relatively new technology uh, among customers, especially in Asia-Pacific. Uh, the market is fragmented, and customers find it very daunting to decide which solutions to go with. The pay-as-you-grow model lowers the barrier for customers to adopt Juniper's SD-WAN solution. Uh, we find that customers like this uh, uh, model because it helps them avoid large capital outlay and uh, they are not forced to over-provision for their requirements. That aligns with Ovum's research as well. We see that here in Asia, about one-third of S enterprises have adopted SD-WAN in some form today, pilots or um, test deployments, but only about 8% of uh, enterprises in Asia today have got really significant commercial deployments. Finally, how can an SP leverage SD-WAN technology to differentiate their services? What are some of the key differentiators in such a solution? So customers have been asking for faster turnaround time for the network services uh, from the service provider you know, that serves them and they want to be able to have greater flexibility and agility to change deployment models, to scale it out as they require, and all at a lower cost. And they also want even better security. And the only way they can meet all these demands is through SD-WAN. With the Juniper's SD-WAN control solution, the differentiators are you know, the, the wide choice of CPE uh, devices, um, the wide connectivity options, um, better integrated security, whether it's physical or whether it's virtual, a powerful orchestration with multi-tenancy, and uh, better visibility and you know, more application awareness. The last consideration that's also very important is the fact that the sd one solution must be able to integrate with the service provider's existing infrastructure, easily actually, um, because this means that they have better control over their operations as well as their offerings uh, to their customers. Um, and also, this will also mean that the orchestration platform uh, is able to provide better performance and fault management than pure overlay SD-WAN solutions. Uh -huh. From Ovum's perspective, uh, what we see is that service providers are looking at different ways that they can differentiate their services, but from what we see right now, it's just a matter of uh, providers being able to go out there in the market and to communicate the importance of their services to enterprises. Uh, there is more complexity to SD-WAN that's below the platform itself in order to operate an entire uh, outsourced services stack. And that's where we think that uh, service providers can bring a lot of value to the market and to enterprises. So CK, do you have any parting thoughts? So organizations considering SD-WAN uh, should look at the entirety and end-to-end -end capability and flexibility of the solutions and not just be fixated on certain aspects of it. Now this includes uh, ability to integrate with existing service providers infrastructure, um, you know, wide connectivity options, CPE choices, strong integrated security, powerful orchestration and a pay-as-you-go model. Thank you CK for your time and insights today. Thank you Brian. It's been a real pleasure sitting down with you to talk about these important industry, enterprise industry trends, and I hope that we have the chance to connect again sometime soon. And to you all as well, thank you for your time and attention today, and I hope that we also have the chance to connect again sometime soon.